Welcome to Singapore Pan Pacific Hotel. Today, finally, we are coming to this hotel after the two cancel are uh, two postponed because that uh, we booked this hotel in uh, 2009, 2020 October. Then, due to the stay home notice, then the hotels have postponed the stay twice. And I booked it in October for 390 plus dollar. That's including the club room access. And then, so as a thing. The video we're going to show you how's the check-in facility, how's the club lounge, how's the gym facility, the swimming pool, the breakfast, and the evening cocktail. So let's go. And now one more thing, they are very cool. Yesterday I received a message from WhatsApp, and then the hotel actually uh, contacted us to think that give us a special check-in because that uh, they are managing the crowd for the check-in. So uh, we are going to follow the ladies right beside us to go to the check-in inside our room. So this way. As the same thing that we need to do is that like we have to scan the safe entry QR code right over there. Okay, let's go. So this is Chai. This is a lady that uh, checks us in and there's another lady. So this way. This is the entrance. So before you go in, you have to send, scan the safe entry right over here. And there's also a body temperature screening at the front as well. This is how the lobby looks like. It's newly renovated. It's very cool. So last time we came here to the edge for the buffet. We love it very much. And do check out their champagne brunch and also their seafood buffet. Here's another counter. If you are Discovery member, you can check in right over here. So as a platinum guest, so maybe next time you can try it. We got upgraded to a better view room. I'm not sure what it says. Uh, earlier, as I mentioned, I booked the King Pacific Club room. So let's see what's the room for this time. We got a corner room. Oh, lovely. So our room number is 3410. And the Singapore flyer is just there. And Ritz is there. We are going to Ritz Carlton later. So we can walk over from this side. Okay. Let's go in now and leave our luggage right over here. We'll do. Wow, it's a very nice room with a very good view. So Cell will be coming in to ah yeah, come please come in. So we we'll do the check-in right over here. I will show the room later. In. We have passed our IC and the credit card to the lady Cell, and then we had to fill in this healthy declaration form. And then we'll just do the check-in right over here. Immediately when you come into the room, uh, there's an aircon control switch over here. And then um, over here is a full-length mirror that is mounted onto a sliding door that opens up to the toilet. We'll show you the toilet later. There's actually a switch over here with UK power outlet and one over there as well. So um, they make very uh, maximum use of the space here. So if, if you actually drag this open, right, it's where all the glasses are kept. So you have water glass and wine glass. And then if you open up this compartment, it's where the mini bar is, the fridge. And uh, we were told by Sal, who checked us in, that the non-alcoholic beverages are actually complimentary for us to enjoy during our stay. Yes, so these are the uh, carbonated drinks, the juices, as well as green tea available. So the coffee creamer is actually kept in the fridge as well. If we were to go down lower, in the drawer, this is empty. I believe this is where all the mini bar items are were kept earlier on. And in this drawer is where the kettle is. Okay. As we proceed further into the space, uh, there is another UK power outlet over here just below the TV, which mount which is mounted onto the wall. I'm not sure if it can be. No, it just can be adjusted, but it cannot be retracted or pulled out. Yeah, so if we come here, uh, this uh, table over here, that's the phone where we can actually call for service. And then just beside the phone is where we have the TWGT. There are four different kinds of tea, namely English breakfast, green tea, Earl Grey and Chamomile tea. There is also the decaffeinated, if I'm not wrong, this is decaffeinated uh, instant coffee sachet. And then the sweetener, the brown sugar and the white sugar. And three Nespresso capsule. One of them is decaffeinated as well. Uh, coffee cups are here for us to help ourselves if we need a hot drink. Is there anything inside this? Mm, nope, it's where they kept all the wires 
and then this is the drawer with a mending kit so there's a sewing kit inside the drawer uh yeah so that's all and then if we come to this part right uh we this is where you can have all the hdmi power outlet the usb power outlet and the audio pc uh power outlet for you to connect your devices to and then this is a working desk with uh, a table lamp and um one very interesting thing that is different from other hotels which we stay during this COVID period is the need for the other registered guests to actually pen down their particulars in a form and then this form will be ultimately handed over to the guest relations staff for their safekeeping. Yeah? And then we were also told by Cell that you know uh, over here this is a box of um, welcome amenities for us but previously it was actually placed in a suitcase yeah but because of this uh, pandemic period they wanted to minimize the touch points so they put it in a disposable box which is quite elegantly presented as well and this is our welcome amenity oh welcome amenity is from the Discovery Platinum members. Yep, so it's for the wow. Discovery Platinum members. Uh, so there are macarons, local delights like the Quella piece, uh, and then uh, chiffon cakes and some prayer lines as well. It looks really, really nicely presented. Um, we'll give a taste later to let you know how it tastes like. Okay, and then um, there's also an information card for us uh, to let us know uh, how we should go about to book for the various facilities such as swimming pool, fitness center, club lounge, as well as the, the breakfast. So there's also an information sheet for us to tell us the timings in terms of like, for example, the seatings of the breakfast. We are very pleased to know that there will be champagne breakfast available. So that's great for us. And then there's also afternoon tea and evening cocktail. The Pan Pacific Club Lounge is actually open from 1 p.m. onwards during this period. It closes at 10 o'clock. And for this room, right, we are also entitled to pressing or laundry up to two pieces per room per night. Yep, and so that's the view that we are being treated to. It's a very rainy Saturday afternoon today in Singapore. And you can see it's quite foggy out there. Fritz Carlton is just beside our hotel and then Mandarin Oriental is just in front of us. Yes, and so uh, over here is where you can actually sit down, you know, have a cup of coffee, read your newspapers or your books and admire the view out there. And as we proceed to the bedside table, there's another phone over here and a universal power outlet as well as the master switches for the wall, the cove, the foyer. So it's all labeled very uh, in great details. The remote control is here and the drawer is empty so you can put your belongings here. So that's a very nice comfy bed with very very decent track count. Okay, and then as we proceed to the uh, next big side table, there's the UK power outlet. There's also the switches for the bedside, master switches, and also complimentary drinking water. So now we shall proceed to the bathroom. So as we showed you earlier on, you can actually come in uh, through, the, through the porch area, okay, into the bathroom. And you can also come in through the bedroom area. So once you come into the bathroom, there's actually a very sizable bathtub. It looks really deep and the amenities that they use is by the white company. So they have the soap, they have bath salts by Embrace. And so it looks really decent, I must say, the bathtub. Uh, and then there's one wash basin here. And then uh, the bathroom amenities are presented in a tray uh, just in front of the box of tissues. So there's mouthwash, there's also uh, shampoo, lotion, conditioner and all the necessary items which we need. 
So the fresh towels are actually at the bottom shelf over here and then there's a waste bin this is a standing shower with rain shower as well as shower head and another set of uh, shower amenities is also placed inside on the ledge and then the porcelain throne is actually has got an automatic uh, bidet which uh, tracks motion so it actually flips up automatically when you step into the bathroom Okay, and then uh, this is the walk-in wardrobe space. It's small, but it's also functional at the same time because you can actually hang your clothes over here if you're here for the long stay. And uh, there's also a rail over here for you to hang some clothing as well. The emergency light torch as well as room safe it has been provided for. There's also uh, an electronic weighing scale okay and then this is where you can actually retrieve the laundry bag for you to put your laundry for uh, sending sending for pressing or washing and then there's also a uh, shoe shine service available so there's shoe mitt and shoe bag and this is for you to shine your shoe and this is a shoe horn of course the next two drawers are actually empty and the bathrobes have been provided. Uh, it's the thin, comfy kind of material, so that's great. The track count looks nice, so, and the bit is quite high. Like, it's not the usual size, like, slightly lower, it's almost like this. So, let's ready for three, two, one. Oh, wow. okay, acceptable to me. Yes, uh, the duvet is very soft, mm. uh, and then uh, I like the fact that. Uh, it's a very high bit. It's a very yeah. nice pillow. I love the pillow. Yes. Two of the pillows are in a different texture yeah. and it's quite nice. The and one behind is of a harder texture and the one in front is softer. Yeah. And also, um, there's a pillow menu that is available. This way? Yeah. Um, it's indicated in the welcome Ooh, note. Okay. Yeah. Let's so, see how firm the bit is. Uh, okay, it's a firm bit. Mm, mm. It's very, very nicely firm bit, and then like it's not uh those like a uh, lots of spring types of the bit. Mm. Mm. Yes, so I think uh we will have a very good rest once again, provided I don't get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to try the welcome amenity together. 
I have to say it's really impressive to receive something like this. It's really yeah. show how they appreciate uh, loyalty then members. I can e I want to see how it's like when it was originally placed in a briefcase. We'll, I think that we'll, will be yeah. even more like... Uh, we'll come back together. So let's try the Kuei Lapis together. Okay. Huh? I'm see. okay. I thought we are going to half half. Mm. Oh, the Kuei Lapis is very soft. It's, it's very fresh. It's not yeah, dry at all. It looks very fresh and feels very fresh. Mm. And it's not very oily. Wow. It's full of pandan flavor, but um, I feel okay. Yeah, and then um, when you bite into it, right, it quickly just disintegrates and it's full of the pandan fragrance, which we don't like, but I like. And the uh, macaron has got two different colors, should be two different flavor. I'm going to try the purple one, the Tiffany blue for him. Mm. It's not that sweet. Mm. Maybe the... the Okay, the, sweet, the, the sweetest part is the cream. The thousand layer cake is not that sweet also. Mm. I quite like it. Mm. Uh, it's not the very sweet kind of the macaron. Macaron. Macarons. Macaron. Yeah. It's quite dense as well. Oh! The Tiffany blue one is more chewy. And then this one is more... I say it's very dense. Mm. But I like the chewy mm. part. It's very nice. And then there is a cream puff. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. the pilot one is more light. More light and very puffy. Mm -hmm. I think as a platinum guest, you can skip your lunch and do the checking and have this as a lunch. It's perfect. <laughs> it's a happy lunch. Then you will get sugar rush. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure what is it. Something interesting. Something? Mango, oh, mmm. Okay, you have to take it out. It's mango inside. Oh, it looks like pineapple tart. Mmm. Oh. oh. It's very nice. It's oh. very nice, very, very nice. It's I love so it. It's so delicate, my god. It's like, yeah. It's like an art piece. And then inside, below is a cream puff. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. I like this one very much. So maybe um, if y'all sit it in a um, each restaurant or in the bakery. I'm not sure whether they have the bakery. If you see this one, you buy this. It's very exciting in terms of the taste. There's a lot going on. Mm. 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 And then this one looks like a <laughs> cake and a waffle. Oh. oh, it's matcha. It's a very Japanese treat. It's a red it's, bean paste inside. Yeah, matcha with azuki bean paste, if I'm not wrong. So, Oh my goodness. There's also the Pan Pacific logo and boss. You need to eat this with coffee or tea? Green tea. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is very good. It's super good. It's I feel like, like Japan. Yeah, it's like those desserts that you have mm. in Japan. And there's another Japanese treat, the mochi. Mm. In the shape of a flower. Sakura. Mm. Okay. This is what you like, right? Mm. But the texture is not what too too rubbery. Mm. Mm. It's more like a Chinese dessert now. This one, mm. like the mid autumn festival kind of the thing. Actually, it tastes like it has. It's not as fresh as all the things that we have tasted. <laughs> I think I'm maybe sorry. it's a different. Mm. Yeah, but maybe it's just the proportion of the ingredients. And my favorite part will be this one, the chiffon cake. It's a topping with the this one. I think it should be gula malacca. I can't taste what is this, but uh, maybe brown sugar. Oh, caramel! Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't like chiffon cake. Oops, I'm sorry. Three second rule. <laughs> There's one more. More than, I mean, uh, on next, okay. So it's a uh, second rule. <laughs> mm. We had one very nice chiffon cake in uh, JW Marriott, South Beach, We which is, uh, their chiffon cake is very impressive. I'm going to try this one. Check this out. 
It's very fresh. It's not dry at all. Mm. Wow, and it's very light as well. Mm. Mm. It's very traditional way, but yet it's very flavorful. Mm. It's fresh, and um, the texture is like a good chiffon cake that you can go yeah, with. You see, you can compress it all the Point. way like that from here. And with the syrup, right, it tastes really good. It complements the chiffon cake really mm. well. Mm. Ah. But with the syrup, it's a little bit too sweet. Mm. So we left the chocolate. I'm going to keep it for supper. Mm. Yeah, that's all about oh that. Oh my we just finished almost. Oh, we, we left this one, one, one piece. Finished. We are at the club lounge now for the afternoon tea. Let me walk around and show you how the club lounge looks like. It has a very nice view, 360, you walk around and then right over here you can see there's a bar, you take the lift from here and then once you open the lift you can see how the bar looks like and when you come up on the lift you have to go over here to do the safe entry uh, screening and then check your body temperature there's one private dining room over here, tonight we're going to show you um, going to live stream right over here in a short while and I like the lamp right over here, it has a very nice decoration. The seat between the other seat are very comfortable, it's a very safe distancing. Right over here you can see a very good view of the Marina Bay. And then also part of Singapore right over there. And it, I remember it used to be a Chinese restaurant over here. And then uh, it goes straight over there. We, have, we are already turned around the club lounge the washroom is right over here so maybe uh we'll check out the washroom in a short while we like it very much it's very comfortable it's very quiet uh, even it's a weekend now and then we're going to have our afternoon tea in a short while to enjoy the afternoon tea you can scan the qr code to order the juice the beverages the coffee I have ordered the flat white and Sean ordered the long flat. It smells very nice. And I also ordered the freshly squeezed carrot juice. Very impressive. Like I never see any other lounge in Singapore they offer the freshly squeezed juice. And Sean also ordered the sparkling water. The coffee smells very, very good. Let us try the coffee together. Okay. Together. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love the coffee. It's, it's bring me up. Wake me up now. Is that nice? Your long? A lot of warmth <laughs> and uh, bitter. Try your carrot juice. Oh, wow. Honestly, I never hear anyone operate the machine to squeeze the carrot juice, but it's, I can see that it's a real carrot juice. Very nice. Oh, sparkling, water. sparkling water. It's a sparkling water, right? <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, before the high tea served in the tier, is that they serve the salad right over there. And this lovely lady is Jane, Jane, Jun, Jun. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> okay, so presented. Yeah. Today we're um, serving chicken turkey ham sandwich and tuna sandwich. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have scone and uh, mushroom fish of the day. And for the sweetness, we have this uh, strawberry uh, shortcake cake, mm -hmm. blueberry, mm -hmm. and we have this yuzu shoot oh. and uh, chocolate royalty and uh, raspberry tart. Okay, Thank okay. You. enjoy. If you want something more, you can order. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Jane. You so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Jane is very lovely to explain to us uh, the item that we can order. And I think. Mm, yeah, luckily that all the item is not same as what we get from the Welcome Amenity. We were worried about that. So let's enjoy that. Three more items I would like to share with you all. Uh, as mentioned earlier, that club room guests are entitled to get two pieces of laundry or pressing. I sent this laundry I mean, so for this, this shirt for pressing. Within an hour, they send it back. And they don't give the plastic cover to cover it. Then you can request this to be full or with the hanger. And when we check in the room, we notice that they forgot to offer us the care pack, which is the hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes, and two facial masks, and the <laughs> amenity bag. And then we requested in the club lounge, and then they deliver it to the room in, the, in a very fast speed as well. And this one uh, is in the room earlier, but we 
we missed up this, so I'm going to share with you what is this. Mika is the digital concept, and this is uh, one of the cute things. So Sean, can you show what is this inside? Unboxing! <laughs> so we're going to unbox one more thing again. So it's actually it's a stress ball, and it comes like this. It's so cute. It looks like a pouch. <laughs> Hang on, uh, you don't have the mind, they don't hear you. Give me a minute. It's uh, the, the, the mascot for their digital concierge, Mika. And then uh, behind Mika's head is the Pan Pacific Singapore logo. So it's actually a stress ball. And it's indicated over here that stress balls are great for releasing tension and also help with the treatment of couple tunnel syndrome, which I know, <laughs> and arthritis, which I also know. <laughs> and it's also environmentally friendly uh, material as well. Yeah, that's right. We are at the club lounge again, so please scan this QR code and then you will know what they are serving for their evening cocktail or breakfast or beverages. So right over here, I believe you can check out what they serve for the food, I think. So Monday to Thursday, they are selling, uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, they are <laughs> offering a different types of food. So Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, you get the cold item, canopy, hot items, uh, desserts, all this. Um, everything looks good. So today is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday will be this one. We will have the co-editor is a cheese cracker, mixed olive, eggplant garnish. I'm not sure what is that. Canopies, we'll get the smoked salmon, cherry tomato, hot items. There is Singapore chili crab with deep fried golden bun. Sounds good. And the crispy fried chicken. Dessert, there will be black forest and passion fruit, and then yeah, that's about. So, let me show you what they can order from the beverages. And then, that over there, uh, recently they just changed to a new champagne called Nicholas, blah blah blah. And uh, it, it looks like this one. And they do have some leftover rose from uh, Roria Perrier. And then, you can all uh, in the future, you can order the Prosecco and the sparkling rose. Mm, red wines, two different labels, and the white wine, there will be also two different labels. Spirits, uh, there's a lot of the hard liquor, but most impressed me will be the lemon cello. It's going to be very good for me uh, after a big meal. Cocktails, they do have a lot of different types of cocktails. Uh, but Jane uh, su suggested us to try the Royal Blue Pacific, something special from the Club Lounge, and the Pets Berry. The mocktail, this uh, brain shot is made by the coconut base. Flower for you is something tropical, fruit juice, and morachi is uh, matcha with milk, and the fruit juice, freshly squeezed. Soft drinks and the uh, mineral water, sparkling and non sparkling, coffee. And what else? TWGT tea? TWGT? It's quite a lot of selections for the tea. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how the evening canopy looks like. Ta -da! It looks really good. So fried uh, golden bun, fried chicken, desserts, and then the chili crab, crackle, cheese. I think it's hummus and uh, yogurt if I'm not wrong. And then olive oil, some uh, open sandwich, smoked salmon, and our drinks. Of course, that uh, we're going to try more later. We have ordered the cocktail, the signature cocktail recommended by Jean. Uh, this is Royal Blue, and your is? Royal Blue Pacific, and this is the Pets Berry. You know, we're going to give you a try. We told him to make it smaller portion for us and make it lighter for us. Mm -hmm. I like I don't really like mine, it tastes like a medicine to me. And let me try the... This one has got um, pepper syrup, if I'm not wrong, based on what Jane told us. Oh, there's a black pepper on top. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Actually, this is not bad. It's also. not bad, it's like a blue lagoon cocktail. 
as also like G of the top. Mm. Um, I like the berry things. I was told that uh, they specially make the juice, the base from the hotel themselves. So it's something very different, very unique. I like it when they put the black pepper on the, uh, the cocktail. Okay, that's it. We have never learned our lessons, so we usually know that we are not okay to mix alcohol. So when we speak with champagne, we should not mix. And we got our second, uh, fourth cocktails again. I'm having the Singapore sling. Oh, <laughs> this is a very strong Singapore sling. <laughs> we, wow, I think they want to make us happy. And uh, Sean ordered the lychee martini. Very nice and the Singapore sling. Better than many, many of them. Yeah. Um, I do recommend to try the Singapore sling instead of the uh, Blue Pacific something. Uh, and uh, the berry thing, I like I like the test berry and the Singapore sling. So when you come to stay in this hotel, check in the club lounge, having the evening cocktail, do try the Singapore sling and the Pepsi berry. Sean had a lot of alcohol. <laughs> and, and one thing really surprised us that uh, this hotel are actually having turn down service for uh in during the circuit breaker period yeah, we, it is the only hotel yeah and then the they even refill the tea bag and coffee for us it's very impressive put in additional cups for us we use that yeah usually we boil the water we don't use a plastic bottle bottle water and they <laughs> did they refill the snack <laughs> i don't no. think no right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then like, uh, yeah, it's very impressive. They even like clean up the bit for us. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Now I think that this is a hotel really worth to come back again. They are very professional. It's our first time to wake up so early to go to the gym first, then go to have champagne breakfast. Um, let's talk about things that I don't like in this room first. Uh, is the water, the, the switch. It's very annoying. There's only one and two. You don't know which one is the right one, the rain shower or the handheld shower. So, uh, and the water heating is quite slow. I don't like that. And I also don't like the hair dryer. You have to press the button to dry your hair and my hair is still wet. And the room is a little bit dry. What about you? Uh, actually, I don't have much complaints about the room. Mm -hmm. uh, but just one minor complaint about the you say the tap at the water. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very so annoying design. It's it's very difficult to gauge like how much, uh, whether if you have closed it completely, Correct. or Correct. whether if um yeah you you need to push more to the left or to the right. There are some hotel use the same uh tap. It's very annoying. Yeah. Like uh you you always think that you already close but it's always water dripping yeah, let's talk about the best part of the room it's very quiet the uh, air conditioning is very powerful even though it's like set to 18 degree there is no noise and what else spacious it's comfortable <laughs> uh, what's the best part you think about it? i think the best part of the room is the bed because it's really very comfortable oh i, I have a good sleep like yeah. i uh, uh, and I love the heated toilet seat. <laughs> so it's oh, like, like yeah. midnight, you went to like VV. You I don't guess. have to sit yeah. down and get freeze, freeze your butt. Yeah, it's very comfortable. You can just sit down. Uh, okay, I sit. Don't judge me. I sit down and pee. It's very good practice. <laughs> and I don't. I didn't get drunk. So mm. this time around, I really had the opportunity to experience the quality of the bed and the pillow and it's really very good i got no neck ache when i woke up mm -hmm. and the duvet is very soft and comfy and i really have very good sleep mm -hmm. uh and then uh what jim said is correct um there's no humming sound even though the air conditioning is actually mm -hmm. reduced to a very low temperature also uh it's uh it actually uh cools or warms up the room pretty fast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. don't mention it not having get drunk so early we still have a champagne breakfast but that's only for one Hours. Here is a small corner that for you to have some fun. Table tennis right over here and the uh, huge chest. And then that one should be for you to play, throw the ball in or throw the sandbag and the ring. 
uh, later we'll go to the swimming pool. It's just right over there. Uh, there are also some herbs garden and some playground, if I'm not wrong. We'll show the kids' facility as well. So, Sean, try your luck. Can you try to throw in to the middle one? Oh, wow, not bad. <laughs> this is the gym. The treadmill is right over here for cardio. And then this is the free weight with the app, app machines and then the chairs. And let's go see Sean. Sean is just right over here doing all his workout. I think most of the machines are very, very up to date. It's very comfortable and uh, new. And there's also some of the machines that I never seen before. So let Sean push harder. And then that's a flag machine, step machines. I never seen this before. It looks interesting to me. And the bicycle. Here it is, and also the pedal. So recently, so I quite like these machines. And then, yep, this is a gym. So I believe that you can do a very good workout right over here, even though like, um, you only have one hour time slot over here. We are back to The Edge, our favorite restaurant in Singapore. Excited, right? Right over here, it means that it's for us to get drunk, even breakfast. So how to order the breakfast is, you set the QR code on every table and then they will be presented you to a password. So you just like order the food, you just key in the password to order the food, but the beverages, you can just let the staff know. And then we're going to have that champagne over there. Excited, right? <laughs> but the very first thing we're going to do is toast the champagne. Cheers. Cheers. I would like to give a correction as saying that the uh, champagne is actually is another label but I don't like this champagne, it's a little bit acidic mm. it's, a li it's, it's a sweet note but it's not that smooth to me mm. It's the same champagne that we had yesterday Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay It's weird, maybe I have not have any food yet So yeah, yeah I'm going to talk about the food now After you scan the QR code, it will lead you to this page then there are these items that you can order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Um, it looks pretty average to me. But uh, we'll show you the food that we order and then we'll let you know whether it's nice or not. So yeah, scan the QR code then you're able to see the menu. My order has arrived. So I ordered the chicken congee set. It looks... Um, pretty decent so it's very nicely presented in this very retro looking bowl and then um, there is chicken julian inside with some spring onions on top plus a dash of i believe is sesame oil or soy sauce and then by the side we have um, the peanuts the preserved vegetables the yotiao which is the fried uh, dough fritters as well as the salted duck egg so it's a very um, traditional kind of um, Southeast Asian breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a taste to see how it tastes like. Mm, it has got that home cooked um, taste to it, um, and I kind of like it very much. It's perfect, especially when you know you have a hangover and you want to get get rid of the hangover. So a piping hot bowl of porridge is good. This is my order. I ordered the ifu noodle and the nasi lemak. So I'm going to give you a try right now. Let me try the ifu noodle first. I quite like ifu noodle, same like my ex-boss Jenny. Oh my god. Sean, you'll love the ifu noodle. Really good. Very, very well prepared. And I'm going to try the nasi lemak. Nasi lemak, which is the coconut milk rice. Have a very nice fragrance of the coconut milk. Let me try with the chili. Mm. The rice itself is a little bit dry. Mm. I think it, with the more sambal, it will taste better. And then it comes with the fried egg. Let me give it a try as well. Mm. I would prefer the ifu noodle. So let us enjoy the breakfast. Jim's uh, other order, which is the charcuterie platter, has also arrived. So it consists of like uh, cheese, preserves, and as well as uh, cold cuts. 
so it looks like that and then um, we out of curiosity because in the uh, electronic menu right there's actually no sign of uh, cut fruits yogurt as well as fresh bakes like danish and croissants so we decided to ask the service staff and we were told that um, all these um, menu items which is what we have here croissant and danish as well as cut fruits and yogurts have not been built into the system uh, ordering system as yet so uh, if you come to pan pacific for the stay and you are ordering through the app right uh, if you like to have some fresh bakes as well as cut fruits and yogurt be sure to uh, ask the service staff for it and they'll be happy to provide you with uh, what you would like the electronic breakfast menu also has got no indication of the choice of beverages that is available for um, breakfast but I believe the wait staff will show you to the table will also take your drink order and introduce you to the menu items that are in terms of the beverages available for breakfast. Apparently there are <coughs> three uh, different settings for breakfast every day uh, so it starts if I'm not wrong at 8 30 and then 9 30, 7.30, 8.30 and 9.30 and uh, we opted for the 9.30 slot and as you can see uh, there's actually a very long queue outside right now but uh, fret not if you have actually booked yourself a club a room with uh, club lounge access right uh, in the breakfast area for this uh, pandemic period, there's actually a dedicated area for all the uh, club room access, uh, club room guests um, to have their breakfast. So um, you can still uh, enjoy your breakfast in some uh, relative peace and quiet. We have been told by Javrik, the service staff, that uh, for guests who have booked themselves uh, with club room, uh, club lounge access, right? they can actually skip the queue to have breakfast whereas for the guests with uh, normal room bookings um, they actually have to join the queue so it can, as you can see it's a pretty long queue outside and then whereas for club room guests you can actually come in uh, through express queue which is great I'm at the swimming pool changing room the changing room they do have the steam room but currently circuit breaker is not available for that and they also have a very great facility for you to dress up your swim trunks for you uh, after the swimming locker and the hair dryer as well i'm going to show you how the swimming pool looks like it's a heavy rain outside now let me show you how the pool looks like give me a minute uh, i do have an umbrella with me so i will walk through a little bit okay let's go so here's the swimming pool. The swimming pool is a very small size compared to most of the five-star hotel in Singapore. But I believe that in this area, this is considered a decent size, which is that uh, beside the swimming pool, they have a lot of cabana. You can enjoy some of the fresh air right over there. And uh, I'm not sure how deep the swimming pool is. Oh, let me take a look. It is one point. 2 meter deep okay and this is a kids pool and overlooks the view of the hotel and then yeah you can get the umbrella from them <laughs> so it's um, a pool that you can have a very good sun tanning because there's no rooftop at all behind the pool right over here there are mini herbs garden but the name of the herbs are all totally wrong so yeah but i mean you still can have a look of the the herbs maybe it will some things that you might know and this should be the fruit garden uh, yeah chiku papaya and lemongrass and behind the herbs gardens uh, the fruit garden there is a kids playground so this uh, very nice hotel also able has i mean also have a nice facility for kids so you can just bring your kids come over here to play <laughs> at the playground so they can like have some energy burn and then you can continue to have some great time at, in the room or at the club lounge they do have two tennis court but i'm not sure how you can book the facility you can check with them maybe you can bring a racket or 
the hotel offer the racket. We have come to the end of uh, this stay at Pan Pacific Singapore. It's our first time over here. And uh, I must say that all in all, uh, I really enjoyed myself really much. Um, the room is really very comfortable. Uh, although uh, in terms of the F&B selection, it's um, still a little bit, I mean, then there is room for improvement la. but I must say that uh, some of the things for example their sweets are actually uh, of a good quality uh, the last point I would believe is the champagne breakfast because it came as a surprise to us we weren't expecting that there would be a champagne breakfast we also enjoyed ourselves very much at the evening cocktail and we really liked the club lounge which is really um, at a top floor where you can have a very good vantage point of Singapore you know the whole cityscape and then it's like surrounding 360 degrees you can just take a walk around the whole club lounge to take a view of Singapore so that's really great and if you want to come to Singapore for a luxury staycation getaway we will strongly recommend Pan Pacific Singapore because uh, I think for the service and the quality of food and beverage that you get I believe it's well worth the money mm. to me I do recommend you to stay in this hotel and one very good point that this hotel actually is uh, and Pacific and Park Royal, they offered the nurse and the doctor, all the frontline staff to get a free stay for thanks them by doing a good contribute uh, contribute for the pandemic. And I will really recommend you all to come and stay here and that you can see from the video, the facilities are great, the room is great. Uh, I personally, I like the staff first, then I like the room and then the food. Uh, the afternoon tea is delicious. I like the afternoon tea and then the welcome amenity, the snack, we love it very much. Uh, only the can be improved, which is the evening cocktail, food and the canopies and the breakfast. The selection is a little bit lower, but I did told the staff they would really recommend, I mean, feedback to the executive chef. They'll do something changes. Hopefully that when we come back for another Chinese speaking video, we can show you a different uh, the improvement of the hotel. So with that, we're going to enjoy our uh, high tea. We are shamelessly like, check out and then come here, have another free meal for lunch. Uh, they are very, uh, very welcome to let us to have this another IT. So it's time to go say goodbye now. Bye bye. <laughs>